these are the most disrespectful Chicago rap lyrics that really happen. Starting with the bar from Computers by Wooski, because he says, both of them stood over J Money and put four in his grill, for real. Now go ask Lil Boo how that hot feel. Wooski is a well-known FBG member that's known for beefing with rappers like Lil Durk and King Von. And he's also one of O'Block's main ops. His most known song is Computers, where he takes shots at multiple O'Block members, including J Money and Lil Boo. J Money was a black disciple from O'Block and one of their main shooters before his death. J Money was killed on September 2nd, 2013. Rumors say he was set up by a girl who convinced him to link up with her in their ops territory. But he didn't know it was a setup at first. And when he got to the location, he saw two of his ops and instantly knew it was a setup. So he tried running to escape, but couldn't make it fast enough and got shot in the head and body multiple times. So in this bar, Wooski explains what his gang did to J Money and Lil B from STL slash EBT was rumored to be the one who shot J Money. But he later got killed in 2014 by the police. After J Money died, Dirk and other O Block members went on Twitter to mourn his death. O Black also started going by the name Money Gang to pay respect to their fallen soldier. But J Money ain't the only one Wooski dissed in his song. He also took shots at a Team 600 member named Lil Boo, who was killed in 2015. Lil Boo was one of the members who helped start 600. So Lil Boo was a well-respected member of 600 and one of their top shooters. He taught a lot of the younger 600 members how to slide on their ops and move in the streets. Lil Boo also had several bodies and was a huge problem to his ops, which made him a big target target around the city. But Lil Boo got locked up between 2012 and 2014, which made it hard for his ops to get to him. But not long after Lil Boo got released from jail, he would lose his life. Because on April 3rd, 2015, Lil Boo was walking down the block when a car pulled up next to him and a passenger hopped out and started firing, hitting Lil Boo multiple times. He was rushed to the hospital where he died at 22 years old. And because of Lil Boo's status, he quickly became one of the most disrespected 600 members by rappers who were his ops, including Wooski. And Wooski's ops didn't let all of the dissing slide because in Exposing Me, King Von said, Goofy got shot right up in his top. His brother told on me. With this bar, King Von refers to the situation that happened to Wooski at Dooski the Man's funeral. Because on the day before Dooski's funeral, O Black members were seen FaceTiming Wooski and letting him know they had a big surprise for him. It's a, we gonna surprise? It's time surprise. about tonight. We gonna surprise, bro. So the day of Dooski the Man's funeral was tense since everyone knew that something could go down at any moment. FBG Duck cousin Ruga said, in an interview how he also felt that something was going to go down because there was a bad energy in the air. That's Dusky the man. I, to be honest, I kind of felt like something, you know what I'm saying? Funny was gonna happen. That's some real shit. Just off the strength, like, that's Dusky. This turned out to be true because when Wooski stepped outside during the funeral to smoke a cigarette, four men in hoodies ran up and sprayed the church up. Wooski was hit in the head and five other people leaving the building after the service were also hit. There were a total of six people who were shot outside the church. It was a pandemonium, a scene of pandemonium right after that happened. Thankfully, no one was killed in this situation. And even though Wooski survived the shooting, the injury was so bad, he had no choice but to leave the streets alone for a little while. But Vine didn't care. It continued dissing Wooski on social media, saying the shooting changed him into a, and that Wooski didn't want to diss him anymore after that happened. Nah, but for real, you know how they try to make all the, all the ugly mo seem like they super tough, they super gangster because he, because he ugly. Then he got shot in his head, so now he's stupid, slow, they think he's savage. That's lame. Don't nobody get shot in the head. That's, that's goofy. And when Vaughn said his brother told on me, he was talking about Big Mike, Wooski's brother. Because in 2014, Vaughn was at a house party. And during the party, a dude named Malcolm Stuckey and some of his friends were mean mugging Vaughn to try and scare him. But since Vaughn was by himself, he didn't try anything. Instead, he went and recruited backup from Big Mike. So once he and Vaughn spotted Malcolm hanging out by the porch, they opened fire. Unfortunately, Malcolm was killed in a shooting and several of his friends were wounded trying to get away. Not long after, Vaughn and Mike were both arrested and charged with one count of murder and two counts of of attempted murder. So Vaughn and Mike fought this case for almost the next four years. And the case was looking pretty bad for Vaughn after Big Mike agreed to cooperate with the police and testify that Vaughn was the one who fired the shot that ended Malcolm's life. And at the last minute, Big Mike refused not to take the stand. No other witnesses came to testify either. So the prosecutors didn't have much evidence to tie to Vaughn. And at this point, it had already been several years since the shooting. So Vaughn held his ground and was eventually acquitted of the charges, while Big Mike got sentenced to 28 years. T.W. Lil Twine also has some lyrics that go too far because on 62 Dead Ops, he said, her T-Roy got hit. Wada, he was trying to lurk. Said he tried to run, but he wind up tripping on that big 
shirt. T.W. Lil Twine is a GD rapper from Taekwon World, and they're known to beef with Oblock in 600. So in this bar, Lil Twine is taking shots at T-Roy from Oblock, who was killed in 2017. T-Roy was a respected Oblock member and King Von's best friend, and T-Roy and Von would always go on drills together. T-Roy also supposedly killed several members from rival gangs, so he was a huge target in the streets. Because on February 15th, 2017, T-Roy was out looking for a rapper named T.B. from Taekwon World, but while searching for him, he ended up getting killed. Because T-Roy was out by himself that night and walked into a shoe store trying to find TB. But while he was in the store, he got spotted by FBG Brick, Duck's older brother. Brick was cool with TB, so he told him that T-Roy was inside the store. So when T-Roy went to leave, things didn't go as planned. So TB came inside the store and pressed him. But T-Roy couldn't pull his gun out fast enough, so TB ended up killing him. So in this bar, T.W. Lil Twine is rapping about how T-Roy lost his life while trying to find TB. T-Roy's death hit O-Block hard, so they were after revenge heavy. So T-Roy's brother, HK, got revenge for him a few months later. Since he caught up with TB and shot him outside the same shoe store where his brother was killed. It's rumored when HK caught him, TB smiled and told HK, <laughs> you got me. They found Nooski slumped up in the car just like they did Pac. FYB J-Man, smoke. FYB J-Man is a rapper from Jaro City who beefed with Doblock in 600. And in this song, he's talking about Nooski, Lil Dirk's cousin who got killed in 2014, right after signing a deal with Dirk's label. On May 31st, 2014, Nooski was sitting in a parked car in front of a store when someone walked up and started letting off shots, taking his life. Nooski was sitting in Dirk's car when he was shot, which led many people to think that Dirk was the intended target. And it's rumored that 051 Melly was the one who killed Nooski since 051 went to revenge after 051 Lil Mark's death. Because after Lil Mark died, Dirk made a video making fun of him at the spot he died. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here though? This, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? It's a real famous place, big. Hey, this bus stop, it's a real famous place, big. I ain't gonna lie to you. Which made things 10 times worse for him and anyone around him. That's why after 051 Melly died, Lil Durk started dissing him in songs. Because on Refugee, he said, How you get killed when you partying? And Melly was probably one of Dirk's deadliest ops. Because it's also rumored that Melly was responsible for killing Lil Durk's manager, Chino. Since Melly went on IG Live talking about the situation and making fun of Chino. Just let me a piece. Yeah, Chino Burger. That's what they said. Uh, <laughs> get the f out of here. And Melly was so out of hand that he was nearly beefing with the whole city. Because one day, he ended up getting into it with a dude named 007 Nate over a dice game. Melly responded by shooting up Nate's house while his baby mother and newborn child were inside. No one was hit, but Nate wanted revenge. So in September 2019, the day would come since the house party was being thrown by FBG and Jaro City to celebrate the passing of one of Duck's close homies. And Melly came to the party since he was cool with both gangs. But they warned him that his ops may be there, but Melly felt untouchable and came through anyway, knowing there would be problems if he came. And 007 Nate ended up catching Melly lacking and shot him in front of everyone in the house. That's why Lil Durk says how you get killed when you partying, basically making fun of Melly since they were sworn enemies. Dirk also took shots at another one of his ops in Computer Murders, where he said, sneaking pics by Von Mural like Lil Bro won't come out and spin, he was sending a threat to FBG Cash with his bar, because Cash had snuck and taken a picture in front of King Von's mural to disrespect Von and his people. So Dirk was trying to warn Cash that he shouldn't have done that. And three months after Dirk dropped that song, FBG Cash ended up getting killed after getting shot while driving on the south side of Chicago. A south side rapper was killed this morning after a gunman armed with a rifle opened fire on his car. 31-year-old Tristan Hamilton performed under the name FBG Cash. And before we move on to this bar from FBG Duck, subscribe real quick. But in FBG Duck Exposing Me Remix, he said he got caught in traffic. Baldo ain't get to finish his status. Baldo 600 was a member of the BDs that was shot and killed on East 63rd. He died on October 10th, 2018, just the day after Dusky the Man was killed. It's also been rumored that Waldo was killed in retaliation for Dusky the Man's death because Waldo was allegedly there when Dusky got shot and killed. To make it even worse, rumors started spreading that Waldo was dissing Dusky on the internet, which led to immediate retaliation. That's why Duck says Waldo ain't get to finish his status. Now let's move on to a bar from Driller because in his beatbox remix, he says, since Gino died, that back door ain't funny now. But it's free die, cause he still needs to get gunned down. Drilla is another rapper from 051 Young Money. And aside from Oblock and 600, they're also known for beefing with THF. So in this bar, Drilla is dissing THF Gino, who was killed in 2021. On Jane 
January 27th, 2021, Gino was found dead in an elevator of some apartments. And the streets say Gino was killed by a member of his own gang, a man named Dada, who was real respected in THF. Police say around 3.25 p.m., someone in the apartments ran down on Gino and shot him multiple times. He was then rushed to the hospital where he died from the wounds. Demetrius Johnson, aka THF Dada, was later arrested for the shooting. And Dada's mom said she was the one who called the police because her son had a gun and was wilding out at the crib. Supposedly, she was also the one who called up Gino since he and Dada were close friends. And she thought that Gino would be able to calm Dada down and get the situation under control. So he showed up at the apartments to help Dada's mama out. But turns out, he couldn't do much since Dada was heated and shot Gino 10 times. His mama also told the police that Dada heard voices. So this dude was really going through something. So in this bar, Driller made fun of THF for backdooring their people. That night we lost Kobe on the A block, had the Glock beside him. G Herbo, crazy. In this line, Herbo is rapping about one of his close friends, Jacoby Jerron, aka Kobe. Kobe was killed around 4 a.m. on August 10th, 2013, after leaving a party that Herb was at. Because after he left, he was shot several times outside of a McDonald's in Chicago. The death of Kobe hit Herb really hard. So he even went on to name his ballin' like I'm Kobe mixtape after him to pay respect to his friend. If you enjoyed this video, check this one out to see seven rappers who got called lacking on live.